Archive started. This is the first of the recordings I'm going to make of the slides. Hopefully I'll be able to do these for you every exercise that you have slides. Um, I still want you to notice that after this recording, I've got listed several slides that are labeled for you. Make sure you pay attention to those, too. Anyway, this particular slide is a slide of the skin. It's up the fingertip. I can tell that because I don't see any hair follicles. But if you'll look, follow my arrow, that's the stratum corneum of the epidermis. And then this darker area, the darker pink area, all of this is still epidermis. All right, so I know you remember that from AMP1. All right, then if you look at this area that I'm identifying right here, that would be the dermis. Okay, so you have your epidermis at the top and then the dermis at the bottom. All right, now I want you to notice where the dermis projects up towards the epidermis right there. And then you can see it right here. And you can see a little piece of it because of this is a section. It doesn't go to completion sometimes on the, on the section. So you see how, how um, one of these little areas gets cut off and then you see it appear again. Well, anyway, these areas that I'm trying to draw in right here, this is where the dermis projects up towards the epidermis. And those areas are called dermal papillae. They are the highest locations of the dermis. Anyway, your Meissner's corpuscles, which are your touch or tactile receptors, they're sensitive to very light touch and texture. They're located within the dermal papillae. So I'm going to put an arrow, Meissner's corpuscle, and I believe, let's see if we find another one, there's one right there. You don't see them in every one of the Meissner's corpuscles because of the way it's sectioned, and you're not going to have them in every area. But here I've, I've got uh, pointers on a few areas that have the Meissner's corpuscles. So now on this next slide, you're going to see some of these areas on a higher view. So now we're going from scanning to our low power objective, and I see a Meissner's corpuscle right there. All right, now you can tell it's a Meissner's corpuscle because I know this sounds silly, but it just looks kind of swirly. Looks like a little tornado in there. I believe there's another one right here at the tip of the pointer uh, on this magnification that's difficult to see. Um, but if if we'll move on this next slide, you're going to see, um, I believe it's this area on a higher view. So let's move to the higher view and we'll see that. There it is. All right, I bet you can pick out the Meissner's corpuscle. Look in the lightened area where the dermis projects up towards the, the darker epidermis. That would be in a dermal papilla. See, here's a dermal papilla. Here's a dermal papilla. But within this second dermal papilla right there is a Meissner's corpuscle. So do you see what I mean by swirly or, or it just looks swirled or whirled? All right, so that's a real good view of a Meissner's corpuscle. Remember, these are sitting up high in the in the dermis, excuse me, high in the dermis. And so because of their location, they can be sensitive to just light touch and texture. Um, also, they have pretty low thresholds, so it doesn't take much of a, a pressing on the skin in order to activate one of these. The higher concentration of these in the skin, the more sensitive the skin is going to be. One of the things I've asked you to do for exercise 30 is a two-point threshold. So make sure you read that closely in your book. Uh, on the two-point threshold, the lower the number of the two-point threshold, that means the skin's more sensitive. And so that in turn means that there's more of a higher concentration of Meissner's corpuscles there. Okay, so let's go to this next slide. Here's a few more. Uh, these are from your book and from some Internet sites that I found. Uh, I believe this one may also be just in the slide listing in your exercise folder. But this is another Meissner's corpuscle you can see right there. Okay, so this is a, a sideways view of the skin, uh, and you can see that Meissner's corpuscle. Let's look at this next slide. And there, there it is a little bit more magnified. You can see what I mean again by swirly. It looks swirly. Okay, now if we'll move to the next slide, this is still the skin, a skin slide. It's a different one, 
I can tell it's the skin because up here at the top I see the epidermis, and I can see little portions of of dermal papilla in that. Now this is sectioned kind of strangely, so you don't see the dermal papilla coming all the way down towards the dermis just because of the way it's sectioned. But um, if you look down in the dermis down here, all right, deep in the dermis, we're seeing another touch receptor. This is actually a pressure receptor called the pacinian corpuscle. It can be found deep in the skin, also in some deep internal organs. Uh, if on the next slide we'll see this on a higher view, there it is. Uh, if you look right where the arrow is, all all of this area, area, this is pretty large. All of this is a pacinian corpuscle. It's sensitive to deep pressure and to vibrations. It can be found deep in the skin. Uh, so, like if you had a blood pressure cuff on, that's activating that pressure is activating pacinian corpuscles. You also can see these in some of your deep internal organs, like in the pancreas, the liver, the spleen, the walls of the digestive tract. So because of that, you can feel pressure in those organs, also vibrations. This is sensitive to minute vibrations. Um, but it's kind of interesting, even though you have pacinian corpuscles, say, in the wall of your stomach, you don't have any Meissner's corpuscles there. So I like to tell my students in, in our classes that when you've got food in your mouth, for example, you feel that food touching the wall of your mouth because you have Meissner's corpuscles there for touch. But once you follow, swallow the food, you can't feel it in your stomach. You don't feel it press, uh, pushing against the wall of the stomach. You don't feel the touch of it because you don't have Meissner's corpuscles there. However, if you have a lot of food in the stomach, you'll feel that pressure, or if you have a lot of gas build up in the stomach or in the intestines, you feel the pressure because of the presence of pacinian corpuscles. All right, let's look at some other slides of pacinian corpuscles. Uh, here you can see two, and the way to recognize these, it just looks like circles with other circles with other circles around them. A lot of times we describe these like a sliced onion. It's real, they're real easy to recognize. On this last slide in this little section, uh, here you can see three Pacinian corpuscles, and they really do look like sliced onions, don't, you? don't they? Um, I believe this one is just located outside the wall of the pancreas. Down here at the bottom of this slide, this is pancreatic tissue. I know you can't really tell anything about that right now, but uh, we have three Pacinian corpuscles. There's one, there's one, and then here's the third. And you can see, you might remember from AMP1, you can see some adipose tissue. You can see that there. Um, now this is the, the last slide in these recordings. Uh, for exercise 30. But if you'll go to the other items that I've added in the slide folder, you'll see lots more, especially Pacinian corpuscles, and you'll see some labeled skin that shows the Meissner's corpuscles. So make sure you study those. Okay, well, that's all for this recording. Thank you. Archive recording has